Midnight Channel, here it comes. Ooh. Midnight Channel, dum dee dum. Oh! Who we got this time? Oh, it's actually pretty clear this time. Why does that look like an 8-bit video game? Oh. Dude, you do know. I mean, if you're putting things together... The background is generally the dungeon. Or at least a theme yes, of the dungeon. Yes, yes, but, but what? Okay, I'm, I'm just trying to tie together what does the copycat killer have to do with 8-bit video games. What makes you think this guy's the killer? He's been thrown in the TV. Fair point. By that logic, we should be asking why Why does Yukiko have a castle? She's a killer, right? What's the killer got to do with a castle? Right. What's the killer got to do with a strip club? Well... It's all about the subconscious. Of the person thrown in the TV. <sighs> you all think you can see me? You all think you know everything about me? Mm. <laughs> then try and catch me. It is the copycat! This is also the shadow, if you recall correctly. It's the... Okay. It's the... It's, it's the copycat shadow! I still don't understand why you think that's the case, but okay. Hey, did you see that? Who was that guy? I don't know him. Have you ever seen him on the news or some television special? Oh well, yeah, that was the thing that we were going off of, was that they've always shown up on TV before. Yeah. He seemed really gloomy. Like a zombie. Yosuke! Yosuke! Teddy! Oh. Alright already, I hear you! Sorry, I'm gonna give the phone to Ted. Sensei, it's me, <laughs> Teddy. Hi, Teddy. <laughs> have you got? Have I you still gotten over the shock? This is what he looks like. <laughs> now I know exactly what's happening. That guy's suppressed emotions are resonating with the other side, which are picked up by the TVs over here. Oh, okay. So, so he he's not in the TV yet. I mean, we kind but, of knew that, mostly, right. mostly because that's happened with Rise and the others. Yeah, uh, of course, of course, of course. But his shadow is starting to manifest itself. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's clear now that it's not being filmed by anyone. Mystery solved. But that kid, he must already be inside the other world. What are we gonna do? True, it didn't become that clear until someone was in there. Oh, uh, we're going in. Gotcha! I knew I could count on you, Sensei! Teddy, why do you care anymore? You don't live there! I think my heart skipped a beat! <gasps> Teddy, level up! Also, congratulations, now that he's out of the TV, I think that rank's gonna start speeding up faster. Hmm. So there's no way we could hang out with Teddy. Unfortunately, uh, that is not an option. Woohoo! Time is freed up! I have one last person to worry about! It's just auto-completed with the story. Woohoo! That's enough, Ted. Give me the phone! Hey, how could he be already inside? What happened to the blurry image that we usually see in advance? And did you hear what he said? Try and catch me. Now that I think about it, he looked like a high schooler. Hey, could he be... The copycat! You've got it, Yosuke! Nah, I better not jump to conclusions. Let's meet up at headquarters tomorrow. Alright? Later. <gasps> Who, else? Who else is calling? Chie! Chie! Oh, I finally got through. Yosuke's line was busy, too. 
was just talking to Yukiko. Was that? The copycat. Yes. You got it. Yeah. We gotta get to the bottom of this. Well, we better get some rest. Good night. Actually, I don't know if you remember this, but you've met that character before. Was he the creepy-eyed guy in the suit? I... No? I wouldn't... I don't think he was in a suit, anyway. He looked... vaguely familiar. You saw him in one scene near the start of the game. Oh my god! Huh. Do you have Wait, any it... idea who or when that was? No, I do not! So, I Where? believe... This is before Yukiko gets kidnapped. He's the kid that was trying to ask out Yukiko before. Oh! At, like, the school gate. And she kind of is completely oblivious to what he's actually asking. Hmm. Okay, Risa and Teddy are checking out the other side. So we'll go ahead and start the meeting. Now about what happened last night. You guys all saw it, right? Yeah. Shit he said made my blood boil. That mumbling of his, and those fish-like eyes pissed me off even more. Mm. Who the hell is he? Makes me hungry for sushi. Oh? Huh. Truth to tell, I get the feeling I've seen him before. Yeah, Yosuke, you were there. I was surprised when I saw how clearly his face showed on TV. So I called Chie, and while we were talking, it hit me. Maybe that boy is the culprit. Or a copycat! It's just a hunch, but it makes sense. We've been told the suspect is a high schooler. The police are after him for the murder of King Moron. Yes, he killed King Moron because he wasn't aware of the TV world. And then Adachi threw him in the TV. Wait, no. Adachi would want a copycat to throw people off his trail. Mm -hmm. So maybe Adachi's accomplice you threw him in the TV. Why would Adachi instruct? Oh, you're saying without his permission? Yes. And then Adachi Why would like the accomplice just do something without Adachi giving the say so? I need more time to craft this theory. If Adachi's the mastermind, after all. Right. Right. So. Maybe after the first two or three, Adachi had this somehow transfer, somehow gave persona powers to this person, to his accomplice. And uh, <laughs> it's falling. It's falling apart. <laughs> So the theory's falling TV apart. Last night, at a time like this, I need more red string. <laughs> I mean, he even taunted the viewers, saying, "Try and catch me." Look, man. All right, calm down. Uh, I already see so? one of those things pointing to aliens. You need to slow down. Oh Get no, some sleep. no! All right, aliens are Let's not say involved this with high this. school student. We'll call him Shin. But wait. Would you say personas are kind of aliens? In design? Or in general? I mean, are there any personas that are aliens? 
I mean, technically, in five, uh, the the version of Risei in there has a reason, UFO. Who knows why? Shin is able to enter the other world. Then Shin, again for some random reason, starts throwing people into that world, intending to kill them. The police can't prove the other world exists, so it's the perfect crime. He can't possibly be caught. Now, imagine you're Shin, but after a while, people stop dying when you throw them in the TV. You don't know why. You want to kill King Moron, but the TV is out, so you have to do it personally. Now the police are on to you. Okay. As a result, you, I mean Shin, is a wanted criminal. And there's no place for him to run. So, you're saying he went into the other world to dodge the cops? Oh, so that's why he said, catch me if you can. <laughs> wow, senpai, you're smarter than you look. Ooh. Jeez, you can piss me off sometimes. Hmm. We still don't know why he targeted people who were shown on TV. But if he had a personal grudge against Mr. Moraoka, that explains one thing. I mean, With he's a strong enough motive. Wouldn't he forsake the untraceable TV method and try to kill Mr. Moraoka on his own? He would have a grudge against you, Yukiko, for ignoring him. Though none of you seem to remember you think that right about now. It that way, it sort of makes sense why Mr. Moraoka died without appearing on TV. Hmm. But I wonder what that boy's going to do now that he's in there. With Teddy on this side, there's no way for him to get out. I mean, he had a way in. You don't think he's going to get desperate and end it all? He did look depressed. Like it was the end of the world. No, I don't think that's it. The killer has to know that the people he threw into the TV have come back to this side. I can see missing Yukiko or Kanji, but... Risei, a celebrity? There's no way the killer wouldn't know she's still alive. So that means he knows there's a way out of the TV world. As for the rest, we'll just have to ask him face to face. Okay. Hey, good timing. How did it go? Huh. Good. There's not enough information to go on. Oh, information day. But at least we're positive that someone's in there. Time to start poking around. Wait, where's Teddy? He's still looking. All right. So we need to find out who that guy is. And if he is in fact the one the police are after. Once we figure that out, we just do our thing. That's right. If he really is the killer and he's escaped into the other world, the police don't have a chance of catching him. Okay. So it's all on us. Yay! Investigation team, level up. Woo! Wait. Wait. Yes. Level 7. So when we hit level 10... Since this is all story events, will there be a story event that will evolve the investigation team into something else? Because fool into something. I don't think maybe so. Maybe we're, we're the justice. Or Arcana. No, the Justice Arcana is Nanako. Oh, okay, okay. So, I, I mean, for a storyline thing, it does seem, because this is only July, and I know this is a full year thing, so it's not like this is the final dungeon, because... Obviously, this is the copycat. Obviously, there's going to be more dungeons after this. I don't so... know. This guy's got a lot of motivation here for a lot of these people. Mm. Like I said, so he's already I'm... got one for Yugi Go. 
Could have been a point where Kanji pissed him off. Well then, let's get digging! Wow. A, an RPG with only four dungeons. I didn't say it was the last one. I'm just saying that there might be more going on than just that first killer. Uh... Shopping district. Talk to people. Home gardening. I have a lot of books, avid reader. Okay. Uh, you? Oh! I have a thing. Cool! I wish my husband could have seen these. He would have laughed up along. I know it. Yep, those are your horns! He, he'd say. 18,000. Ooh, nice chunk of change. Uh, you. Oh. Wait. I gotta find the sister. I, are you doing the twin thing and and you're messing with me right now? They might just be. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you flirting? Hey, how's it going? Uh, so, everybody seems to be me with a person, but people in the lower half already seem to not have any information. So, Alright, let's see here. Talk to Kanji at the riverside is the first part. Ah, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, and somebody else. Hold on. Okay. Uh, river. Kanji! Seems like nobody knows anything. Oh! Alright, he should be down in the south section of the shopping district right now. There he is. Oh, uh, hey, Dojima. <laughs> There's no way I tell. Can't get anything mm. out of him. All right, uh, you can't do anything now, but tomorrow you can find a Dachi and Juness. Okay. Wednesday? Yep, spend your time however you want now. You can't be with any of the friends, but... Ah. Well, you can go at night to the, uh, hospital. Uh... You could... I don't think... Yeah, school's not in today. It's a free day. So you could... I was going to say, you could do Wait. that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh... What was your mission? She wanted you to get something that looks like you were a thing. Ah, uh, okay. Um... We're the I... wedding. Oh. Okay, reconnected. Okay, well, interesting. 
I missed it what? saying disconnect. I heard the sound, but I didn't see the little pop-up of that. Ganga? Ganga! Yes! Coffee! Go into the coffee dimension. What about all the sweets over there? They look delicious. Ooh. So... How did you obtain skill cards in Persona 5? Uh, you can get them as either random drops or you can do uh, what they call an execution is where you uh, take one of the Personas and turn it into a skill card. Ah! Also, there are random events that happen called uh, uh, fusion alarms. Uh, and when that happens, either fusing a persona or turning it into an item uh, is oh. boosted. So in Persona 5, you can turn no, personas no, into items? Me, yes, it's not just uh, skill cards. It can be weapons or armor or just an item in general. Get your knife. Alright, so... Is it better than the trout? It's not better than the trout. It's still worse than the fish. All right, you can go to the uh, the hospital. Honestly, that's how I kept up a lot of my cash. Is that I just kept going to the jobs and getting money for it. No, you're not open. You're not open. Nope. Well, the light would be on. Right. Correct, correct. Hospital. Make some muns. Wait, were there any jobs posted? The only one I think you have left to unlock is the tutor job. And that one I think you need, like, max knowledge for. Ah. Uh... Ah. Uh... Wait, the light scene. Ooh! Oh, diligence, okay. You can do that too. Oh! I didn't know we could. I don't think I did either. I don't think I only ever did the bowl. Oh, okay. Uh, hospital janitor. Probably just because it wasn't worth my time. I had other things to do, like hang with the with the pals. Yeah. At night and just boost their social link levels. Empty room, cleaning the hospital. Someone's so, watching you. Is this hospital supposedly haunted? I mean, it very. It seems like it's very much implied that hmm. it might be. Because, along with this social link, we we always get courage. Mm hmm. Nice work. You're also working at night, so there's probably a lot of weird sounds that happen at night. Mm. But oh, with you, the student worker, I see you doing your job. I'm sorry. I'm I Sayoko Uehara. Nice to meet you. Thank you, suddenly voiced nurse. Yeah, right. The nurse seems kind. When you, no, hey, you were doing it last time. So uh, oh, I, I, I was expecting you to be suddenly voiced again. Uh, weirdly, no, just that one line. Why that one line? When, when you're done here, come on by the nurse's station. I'll pour you some hot coffee. Ellipses. <laughs> Just kidding! <laughs> 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 
Wait, why the dramatic music? <laughs> what the hell is going on? I don't know, maybe you should just keep going with the social link and find out. I hear, I hear you're a high schooler. Your skin is so smooth. <laughs> I almost feel like I should wear it. Hey, you know what I'm getting at, don't you? Hey, hey, Kimiko, come over here, come over here. Feel this guy's hands. They are so smooth. I'm feeling a Jeepers Creepers vibe going on here, man. Don't worry. No one will see. I'm not interested. Oh, how adorable. <laughs> I like you. When's the next time you're coming? I'll adjust my shift. Looks like even even a town like this has something fun to do. You can feel a mischievous affection coming from Psycho. You feel a faint bond. Why is she deaf? She's not deaf. Devil? Okay. When you're not, she's deaf. I'm sorry, I forgot. He is not deaf either. I forget which I mean, one Adachi is, but he's not deaf. I mean, it's so obvious for Adachi I'll to be see deaf. You again. Oh, you haven't met death. You'll know. Unfortunately, you need to get devil to level 4 before death shows up. But Adachi's already there. Oh, you just don't know, you silly summer child. Prepare for action. Find some information for Risei. Go to Juness, talk to Adachi. Uh, I guess that might have to be on the next episode of Persona 4 Golden. I guess so. Yes. Saving the game because... Yes. Wow, 53 and a half hours? Damn. Plenty of time. Goodbye. Right. Later's.